there that I absolutely well, love. Now, so it's just... Are you slapping me? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I think that Zoom has been uh, acting really funky. Staffshire Bull Terrier. Oh, you know what? So now I have the right microphone. Hello, hello, hello. I had the wrong mic off. Who can hear me? I'm trying to see if it's synced up. Exactly what you're trying to describe, <laughs> this kind of issue. With pre-recorded videos, instead of us spending hours being in kickoff call, we send them video of the next steps they need to do. Oh, major echo. echo. You boot me off and then boot me back on or something. And then a call to action with a button for them to fill out a form. On your end. Hello? Hello? The problem is if I pop off, then the whole meeting is going to die. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Is there someone yes, there? Hello. Yeah. We've covered the fact that Zoom can be useful. Live conferencing, of course, has a place. But here's the reality. We just want to share the truth now. Lately, we've been trying to limit our Zoom use. You're not being efficient. He comes to me when she wants to. He is a uh, Staffshire Bull Terrier. You can have organized Zoom calls if you put in the effort. You're going to need a time limit, structure, who leads the meeting, delegate someone for notes and tasks that are generated from the meeting, ideas. That all needs to be documented. If you're working remotely, usually tasks are added to project management tools anyways. So why don't you just start there with the project management tools, create the tasks there, and then discuss in the comment section with videos. We use Asana, for instance, and then we use our dub Chrome extension so we can record quick videos right from the comments. That way you can have meetings that are essentially on everyone's own time. We've seen it allows for more productivity while still maintaining that work-life balance that we all are trying to, to figure out when we're working from home. <laughs> I have, I have a wonderful story to share. One day I was on a conference call with, it was an international call with lots of people. And all of a sudden one of our llamas starts to give birth to a baby llama. I, I need to uh, jump off this call right now and, and deliver a, a baby, a four-legged woolly baby. These kinds of incidents right now in this day and age are happening all the time. The dog barking, the garbage truck, delivery phone ringing, other people's phones ringing. Hey Gia, how's your blurs days going on this month of April? Is the meeting supposed to start now? It's 5.33. Was it supposed to start at 5.30? It started three minutes ago. Is the link out to anyone else? Well, That's really cool. Hey everyone, this is Doc Williams with Brand Factor Inc. We use live conferencing when we have to get everyone on the same page. But the problem is we waste a lot of time. With pre-recorded videos, we can send them to specific people on the team. And for our clients, it's been instrumental. So instead of us spending hours being in kickoff call, we send them video of the next steps they need to do. And then a call to action with a button for them to fill out a form or schedule with us or to do whatever we need them to do. And every time they complete a form, they get another pre-recorded video and then they follow up with our team. It's been instrumental how we've scaled this operation. This is the future. That's what we're gonna be doing from now on. The things that happen to us on teleconference calls are, are sometimes just ridiculous. Kids and our pets and life is happening. If we don't, if we don't just embrace that fact, then... There's an alternative to live synchronous video. It's tough to coordinate live conference calls sometimes and get everyone involved, get through all the friction. Subscribe a free account on dub.com. Right now we're offering free unlimited hosting for everyone that wants, wants it, any plan, even the free one. We just want to support it in any way we can. And if you want to check out some of the subscribed features, that's cool too. Pop them soap on your hands, spread it all over your hand, first top, and if you can, then like this. And you do wrist, wrist, five flicks so that it doesn't get everywhere. That's it for part three in our six part series on remote work in 2020. Be sure to comment with any topic ideas and subscribe if you haven't already to catch the new episodes coming soon. That's, That's probably, probably my, my background. background. What's okay. My end. Hello? Hello? Oh my goodness. It's a, it's a baby right. green hair, coconut. Her name is Coco, but I call her coconut. She comes to me when she wants to. There we go. See you guys. I made it. I made oh, it. oh, now, now, now you can hear us. <laughs>